Are you like me? Are you tired of spending hundreds of dollars on rifle optics? Well, I have a solution for you. The Pinty Rifle Scope by Amazon. This state-of-the-art scope is made from the finest materials. 1,300 hours goes into crafting each one of these bad boys. And let me tell you, it's worth it. It's got three to nine times magnification for accurate target engagements up to three miles. Let's not forget the illuminated reticle. The illuminated reticle for accurate nighttime engagements. But wait, there's more. It also comes with a red dot. But not just any red dot, no. Because this red dot can cycle from red to green, and you don't have to just deal with a stupid little dot. No. You can actually adjust this reticle to be whatever you want. And let me show you. Do you just... whatever you want. The best part is right here. This laser is not just any laser. This laser can shoot out to five miles in the daytime. Now that's a lot of damage. All right, guys. Thank you for putting up with whatever that was. But uh, if you couldn't tell, we're here to talk about this. This is the Pinty Rifle Scope. Yes, it is called the Pinty Rifle Scope. And I got this off Amazon, of course. This, well, let's talk about it first before I start shitting on it. Uh, this optic goes for $99.99 on Amazon. So, for anyone who's, who's bought optics before, that's like insanely cheap. So I'm sure you could imagine where I'm going with this. Uh, this is a first focal plane optic, which means as you zoom in, as you magnify, your reticle will stay the same size. Not a big deal. Uh, a lot of optics are first focal plane optics. All that means is when you do zero it, you're going to have to do it on the max magnification, which in this case would be nine. It also comes with an illuminated reticle, which illuminated reticles are cool, are fine. I have nothing wrong with that. Uh, this one doesn't work. It worked at first. It did. Um, and then I shot it. And the inner workings of this scope just shit the bed. I couldn't hold a zero. I couldn't even get a zero, actually. I was trying to zero from about 100 meters out. And uh, my shots were going everywhere. They were going high. They were going low, left, right. Um... So yeah, if you're trying to hit where you're aiming at, definitely would not use uh, this optic. This red dot, or reflex, or RMR, or whatever you want to call it, um, it comes with one. For $100, two optics, and a laser, okay. Well, here's the problem is it doesn't work. <laughs> so it'll turn on. Probably get it to turn on right now, maybe. Yeah, there we go. It'll turn on. There's the red dot. And then you can actually adjust the reticle, which I think is actually pretty cool. But it doesn't work. Uh, the second you start shooting with this thing, it turns off. And uh, it's not well made, so uh, the daylight will will completely drown it out. You won't be able to actually see with this thing. So, also kind of uh, kind of hard to hit what you're aiming at when when your optic is turning off. So, the rifle scope itself doesn't work. The red dot doesn't work. But let's talk about what does work. This laser. Um, <laughs> It's a laser. Like, you, I didn't pay $100 just to get a laser. 
And also, this isn't a great laser to put on weapons in general. So it does come with this Picatinny mount right here. So you can mount it on. The problem is you can't adjust it. It's just you click the button and the laser points, which is fine for any like uh, close range engagements where you don't really need to be right on the money. Uh, so any kind of like home defense, anything like that. I actually did throw this on the 12 gauge that I keep right next to my bed. Um, just because why not? Spend $100 on all this shit, I might as well use something. Uh, but yeah, you can't adjust it and it's literally just a laser. Uh, it also does come with a rail extension. Uh, it's about about an inch. I actually did throw it on one of my other rifles because um, it's really hard to fuck up a rail extension. But overall, I would say do not get this optic on Amazon. I'm going to say it again. Do not get this optic on Amazon if you want to shoot what you're aiming at. If you just want something that looks looks cool or you want to put it on an airsoft gun or whatever then sure but this will not last on an actual firearm like the second you pull the trigger the scope just shits the bed so thank you for tuning in to today's video and i hope i saved you a hundred dollars Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video today i hope you liked it and i hope i saved you guys some money uh but this is not a review channel, all right? That's not what I... Holy fuck. All right. This is not a review channel. I, I don't want this to be a review channel. Uh, I'm just a gun nut, man. I like talking about guns. I like shooting guns. So there's probably going to be a lot, of, a lot of gun content on here. But yeah, I'm not really sure the, the direction that I want to take this. So if you have any ideas, anything that you want to see, anything that you want me to review or... I don't know talk about let me know in the comments down below so thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you have a good one Are you the channel yet uh what kind of content i'm gonna post on there i uh, just threw my thumb in front of whatever it's staying in the video i don't feel like editing it out all right fucking deal with it oh i'm gonna have to bleep that up ah forget anyways i want to thank you guys for tuning into the video today um this is my first whoa 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 first video that I've ever posted uh, as you can tell and I'm still trying to figure some stuff out stick around find out uh, I don't know fuck around and find out I guess so hey okay, thank you for tuning in my video and I'll see you next time <laughs>